perform the indicated operations and simplify. 3m cubed n squared plus 5m squared n minus 4 plus 4m cubed n squared minus 2m n minus 6. All right, so if we have addition, we just need to combine like terms. So I have an m cubed n squared term and an m cubed n squared term. Let's combine them. 7m cubed n squared. Now the 5m squared n doesn't combine with anything else, so I'll just leave it alone. Similarly, the minus 2mn doesn't combine with anything. And then we have a minus 4 and a minus 6. Those combine to a negative 10. Exercise B. 8x cubed plus 7x squared minus 6. Subtract the quantity 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. What I would recommend here, since this is a subtraction, is to distribute that subtraction through, and let's rewrite the whole thing. So I'd have 8x cubed plus 7x squared minus 6x, and now distributing the subtraction, minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 7. And now combining any like terms, I would have an 8x cubed, that doesn't combine with anything, plus 7x squared minus 3x squared, that's a plus 4x squared, minus 6x minus 4x, that's a minus 10x, and then the plus 7. Exercise C has 3a plus 7 by 4a minus 5, so this is an implied multiplication. I'll take the 3a and distribute it through the second polynomial giving 12a squared minus 15a. Then I'll take the 7 and distribute it through the, poly the second polynomial, plus 28a minus 35. Combining any like terms, 12a squared plus 13a minus 35. We would use a similar process for exercise D. The only difference is now we have a trinomial as the second factor rather than a binomial. Taking the 5m through the first polynomial gives 5m cubed plus 20m squared minus 20m. And then taking the 2 through giving 2m squared plus 8m minus 8. Combining like terms, I'd have 5m cubed plus 22m squared minus 12m minus 8.